there's there's like mainstream puzzles you can do, but there's also plenty of crosswords made by people like in the crossword community. Like I didn't do them today, but there's someone who goes by uh, Odd Bear and um, he puts up a mini every single day. And so usually I do like one or two of those, depending on like the day of the week, I might be behind on them. Yeah, like, I guess I, I enjoy doing GeoGuessr, but I guess like the Twitch community is different. Like people that do GeoGuessr, if they pop in because you're playing GeoGuessr, they just have it's kind of more like a competitive mindset. Like they always want me to like do a map of theirs, or they want to like backseat and stuff. Crossword people on Twitch are like a lot more chill. And it's kind of cool, it's sort of like, it's sort of like speedrunning in a way, like, if you don't speedrun or watch speedruns, you wouldn't know there's like, a whole community of people that, you know, do charity events, meet up in person, like, you know, there's GDQs and ESAs, you know, the, the Midwest Speed Fest, etc. Crosswords is kind of the same way, like, I didn't realize until I started doing them on Twitch that there's... Like, actually a pretty sizable community of people that do crosswords and construct them and work together. And then there's like something recently, it was called like, like Wordapalooza or something. I don't know if they normally do like an in-person event, but it's like a big online thing where like people come together and like they compete and stuff. And try to like, like race against each other. But yeah, it's kind of like in the same way that speedrunning has its like whole, like a whole world to it that like, to the outside you don't really know exists. Turns out the crosswords has that too, which is kind of cool. I also know, um, uh, Rubik's Cube solving actually has that too. Because uh, a, a pal of mine, Mikami Hiro, he mostly does Ocarina of Time speedruns, but he also does Rubik's Cube solving. And they have like... You know, when it's not COVID, they have, like, massive events where they compete with each other. Um, again, basically, just sort of, like, speedrunning and crossword puzzles. Like, it's like a whole hobby world that exists out there. Which I think is really cool. It makes me curious, like, what, like, what, like, what exists out there that just has this whole, like, world and, like, in-jokes and, like, mini-celebrities and all that. And just, like... We're completely unaware of it, like, we don't even know it exists, but, like, it's actually a thing. I think that's really cool to think about. Also, hi, Rhea. Hope you didn't crash land too hard. Oh, yeah, Mikami. I love Mikami. Not only for uh, his speedrunning, but just, like, like a really cool guy. And I, I love that he talks about just general life stuff. Gives advice. Talks about like, his, his experiences and stuff. He's just sort of inspirational in general, which I think is really cool. Sudokus. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I admit I don't really like watch people do Sudoku puzzles, but I, I mean they're basically sort of the same idea. There's also a couple of people that uh, do crossword puzzles, but they also do other kinds of puzzle solving. Like, uh, for example, there's one guy named Puzzling Old Man, and, um, he, uh, he also, like, he's playing Baba is You, but he also just has, like, random things or, like, text files that people, like, make. Like, I don't even know if it has, like, an actual name for it, but it'll be weird stuff, like, having to, like, read something and, like, gathering information from it, and then, like, doing internet searches to figure out, like, what the clue is to, like, go on to the next thing or something. Just, like, some crazy stuff you expect that I, like, see in a video game, but it's, like, puzzles that people make, like, like, handwrite. Yeah, like, if you ever, uh, pop into the, uh, the crossword, like, directory on Twitch, like, I mean, like, if crosswords interest you, there's a lot of cool people to do them. There's one guy, uh, Brain Mage, he, uh, does a lot of cryptic crosswords. Cryptic crosswords are, like, something else. 
But he usually streams in the morning, like around the times that I do. And he has this, like, a really cool streaming community. I'm to bite into this, because as soon as I do, it is like having Bertie Bassett cut in my mouth, basically. Um, <laughs> you know when you say things and then realize what you've said? A fantastic clip, by the way. <laughs> that, that honestly gives a, a good idea of what his community is like. Plus, it's like one of those instances where, like, Guy is like a cis straight guy, but he's like absolutely phenomenal, and a large amount of his community are LGBTQ in some way. Like, I see how you've got the uh, the pronoun tag, uh, the pronoun roles on your uh, on your Twitch. Like, everyone in his community pretty much has it. It's like just this massive wall where you see everyone's got pronouns. I thought it was, like, really cool. But yeah, the crossword community on Twitch is really, really freaking cool. I'm really glad that I started just doing crosswords and getting to meet people in it. You always crash land hard, either crash hard or go home. Very true, Raya. Yeah, you know, in instead of saying go outside and touch grass, I'll be like, go online and solve crossword puzzles. Also, there's just like other, other fun little things about crossword puzzles. Like, I've learned there's like, there's been like, I probably like 40 different ways people have given spa as an answer. And the way that they write a clue to it. It's it's kind of funny. Spa is just one of those words that's really popular among crossword constructors. Since it's just uh, made out of leathers, it's really easy to cross with other ones. Same with like, uh, error. Like, ERR -R is like, to make a mistake or something. And because, you know, ERR -R has like a lot of things that can cross with. Um, opt, you see pretty often. OPT. Uh, T, another one. T comes up pretty often. Yeah, exactly, and uh, like, like, kind of when, it, when you get away from the mainstream puzzles, like LA Times and like Washington Post, New York Times, and all of that, indie constructors like using a lot more uh, unique things. Uh, I mean, like like mine, for example. A lot of people told me the. Uh, let me just look at it. Um, I don't know if you've done it or not, but uh, 50 across on my crossword. Uh, one person mentioned that they never saw that particular clue for that answer. And so that made me feel pretty proud. Like, my first crossword, I apparently accomplished that. Feels pretty good. But I feel like I'm going to enjoy doing crossword puzzles because I love words because I, I mean, I write, I do poetry, short stories, etc. And so, I honestly feel like about at least like three quarters of the fun of doing crossword puzzles is coming up with a clue, I feel like. I mean, sure, some of them are kind of straightforward, like, uh, you know, if you're going to have uh, you know, error, like, you no know, ERR again, like, to make an error. You can't really do too much with that, but... Like, uh, four down, for example. There, there's, like, multiple ways you can make that particular word into, like, an answer. Or, like, you know, you can include Link in a puzzle, and it's, like, most people would... Like, if someone puts Link into a puzzle, they're probably going to mean, like, you know, to unite or something. But, like, for me, I could put, like, the character Link. Or if I'm trying to do, like, you know, other people, like Mario, obviously I could do video game Mario. If I wanted to put Star in a puzzle, I could put, like, 
collectibles in a Mario game instead of something like Celebrity as the clue. Yeah. Plus, at time, as time goes on, it'll probably be easier and faster for me to actually make puzzles. Like, the funny thing with this puzzle was... Um, for the longest time, I was trying to get Jotaro as um, something to fit into the puzzle. As in, like, Jotaro Kujo, Jojo's Part 3. And I spent probably about half an hour trying to fill in a corner of the grid and make it work. And it just didn't. And then when I just kind of scrapped all of that, everything else in this particular puzzle just sort of came together. Like, after I did that, it was probably like 25 minutes and everything else was filled. So that was pretty cool to just see it just coming together like that perfectly. Call it an area. <laughs> yeah, you're always here with your puns, aren't you? Yeah, no problem. There's, there, there's definitely some that you're going to know, Raya. Well, I know there's one you're going to get because it is a Steven Universe reference. There's literally no way you're not going to get that one. You know, for about half an hour. I think, uh, let me look at my Discord, because Rohan did it. I think Rohan did it in 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, Rohan did it in 36 and a half minutes. I don't think anyone in the Crossword Discord posted how long it took them, but I mean, they, they probably did it a lot quicker because they just have a lot more experience. You like gay space rocks too much. That is true. That is very much true. Somewhere down the line, when I'm more experienced, I would love to be able to do a crossword puzzle that's just Steven Universe themed. So like, literally everything would somehow relate to Steven Universe. Like, some things might be pretty specific. Like, uh, you know, Aquamarine might be something in it. But something else could be, say, Backpack. Like, it's a generic word, but the clue would refer to the cheeseburger backpack. And stuff like that. Yeah, I think that would be a ton of fun. That actually reminds me, I wanted to look up and see if there actually is any of the Steven Universe crossword. I mean, I'm sure there definitely is. But yeah, I feel like super themed stuff like that could be fun to do in the future, too. Like, maybe a, a Mario-themed one, a Pokemon-themed puzzle, Tank and Rampa puzzle. Dragon Ball puzzle. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, theme stuff is obviously more difficult, because if, like, literally every answer is meant to be related to something, you have to figure out how something will be included. You know, you can't just make, I don't know, Abraham Lincoln into uh, one of them. Unless he appears in that particular fictional universe. Yeah, I feel like part of the I feel like part of what would maybe make Steven Universe easy is that you can argue that literally any gemstone would be related, even if it doesn't appear in a TV show. Also, I've not even been paying attention to what's going on here, but uh, I'm probably going to be on Team Waluigi, by the way. Wah. I, uh, you'd like to pick a particular character that I'm rooting for when we do the CPU matches. Oh, that, uh, that golden mushroom would be pretty nice. Oh, I'd probably get the mushroom with the boo repellent myself. Ooh, Mario. Mario's got that same brain cell as me. Oh, 
Uh, so yeah, Waluigi is in fourth place, but you know, so instead he wins the race. And that rhymed. Also, something I really liked, I I'm kind of sad no one has responded to it, but five across on my crossroad puzzle. Because <laughs> that particular clip is so funny. <laughs> but I guess also at this point, it's uh, kind of old. Kind of, I say. It's not, if it's not just like four years ago, five years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fifteen coins for Bowser. Half a decade? I know, right? You would've been like ten years old, that's crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, DK's got two star- Waluigi! Come on, Waluigi. I'm not mean, it's, it's stating the truth being mean now. Oh, sorry, it would've been 14, my bad. Ooh, a Boo Bell? Boo Bell's not too bad. DK's also got that magic lamp. Looks like you're gonna get that reversal mushroom? Booby bell. You just like, you just ring the bell and some boobies come along. Or it's like, you think some boobs are gonna come along, but then it's like, the bird. Haha, <laughs> you got fooled. Boobies and tits, my favorite birds. All right, now come on, Waluigi. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta win here. Oh, Mario just doing a little spin for some reason. Come on, come on, Waluigi. Waluigi, you're killing me here. See, it's like the one time I'm not actually rooting for Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's just doing fantastically. Wow, literally for, like, last place. Yeah, I don't think Waluigi's winning this. And looks like it's gonna be Mario. Yep, Mario. Well, if any uh, fans of Mario were out there... Your eraser has won. Oh yeah, me absolutely drunk off my ass. I despise Donkey Kong. Let's see, uh, the Boo Bell again? I'd, I'd say the Boo Bell is probably the best one to get. Ooh, that's gonna be a poison mushroom. Close, though. Uh, don't you just love Dory? Dory's the name of a little pli Platypus, I think they're called. Plebo Plebosaur? It's, it's some sort of dino. Ooh, reverse mushroom to get the star. No, 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 not that. Like, D O R I E is like what I think the name of it is. I'm just saying, like, no, oh, like uh, the, the dinosaur. Because it's originally from Super Mario 64. Like, it's got a name. 
It's like it's like Dory or something. No, not no the dinosaur from the mini game, Raya. You're killing me. The one that was literally in the mini game. The Luigi was standing on his back. Literally going to like now. Hey Drew, hope you're doing well. Are we are we gonna get some Ocarina from you? Yeah, you're gonna. I'm gonna make you cry, Raya. Oh, Ocarina time! Called it. Doing a little fishy wishy. How appropriate! We're literally talking about Dory. Sixty-nine inches. Ah, uh, it wasn't sixty-nine inches. I guess someone was just really impressed that you caught a fish. Look, I can and will make you cry, Raya. Don't, don't even doubt me, okay? All I have to do is, like, cut a bunch of onions in front of you and you'll probably cry. Or I'll, I'll just say, like, Poo Poo Dongy Pop, and you'll find it funny. Huh, my, uh, my GameCube is kind of, kind of lagging right here. Oh, sorry, my, my N64. I forgot which console I plugged in to play this. Oh, you clip it to demonstrate? Yeah, I, I've got a couple of clips like that myself. It's not gonna make you cry laugh, but you still laughed. Would you, would you laugh if I said DD Mega Doo Doo? The voice actress for Pearl? I'm sure you would. You're probably laughing right now. You like, you're having trouble typing your responses because you're just laughing. You're thinking, oh my god, Varlbin is too damn funny. Can't believe this bitch. And now I have to watch a snowman's massive ball come running around this course. Is Luigi gonna get crushed by the massive snowman ball? Nope, he's gonna jump on over it. I guess that was pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Get it? Because snowballs are cold, so I said it was cool. Ergo, it is a good joke. Thank you very much. I'll be here till Thursday. And then I'll be gone. Forever. <laughs> My jokes suck ice. Now, come on, Raya. Giving me the cold shoulder isn't very cool. No need to be so cold-hearted. Yeah, sorry, my N64 is a little bit laggy on this one as well. I don't know why some- I feel like Mario Party 3 in particular has ones where my, uh, Cough Cough Wink Wink N64 This guy doesn't like playing it. Blowing a cartridge? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, that's a good idea. Hi, Chrysalis. Chrysalis, I think you missed it. Raya called you a Kokichi Ken in Discord. And you, you didn't even yell at them. Hope you're doing well, though, Crystallis. The day just doesn't feel the same unless you're here to grace us with your presence. Right? It's like they tell you not to blow on it because they know it works and they want you to, like... They want you to actually, like, do it. They they want you to to like buy more cartridges. <laughs> Excuse you, my Discord is live and popping off. You probably even missed the fact that I did a crossword puzzle this morning. Literally created one. You're probably not even gonna do it. You greedy bastard. 
Okay, here we go again. Look at that big old ball. A Sprite Zero of a shot of vodka and it threw a straw. A silly straw? <laughs> mm. You know, when I was, uh, when I was little, we used to have, like, um, what was it? Oh, thanks for the follow, by the way. I have, uh, my alert box turned off. I turned it back on though. But yeah, I used to have like a like a Mickey Mouse silly straw, and I used to love drinking from it. What is, what is it about silly straws that are addicting? Will we ever know? Night of your twenty first, you're gonna go out to the casino. Yeah, do it, do it. Honestly, like it's your life, it's your birthday. You should really do whatever you want. Like, hell, go to a bar and order, like, this whiskey with nothing else, not even ice added to it, and just drink that from a, from a silly straw. Do you want how tough you are? Um, Rhea, I would do that all the time with milk because it just makes, like, so much. Like, when you blow into milk, it just gets so fizzy. It was like the most amusing thing ever to me. I honestly feel like it, it made the milk taste better. I don't know, like, like, like it made it fancier or something. The glasses with the straws attached? Yes. You know what else you need to do? You need to get like, uh, get like the hat that has like the two cans of soda with like the straws that come out to the front. <laughs> You know, like they usually have like at baseball games and such, and and they had in SpongeBob too. <laughs> yes, you got to live the SpongeBob life you've always meant to. He was number one. Stop. Rhea, you need to fix this. Like the next time you drink some milk, you just got you just got to blow into it, make some bubbles. A cereal bowl with a straw attached. Am I a pretty girl? You're beautiful. <laughs> okay, Rhea, I get the hint. You want the hat for your birthday? What did you add? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Explaining? <laughs> okay, I love both of those. Well, too bad, Ray. I'm gonna get it for you. Or, like, at least I'm gonna keep saying I'll get it for you. I don't know if I actually will or not. My, my, last, my last two brain cells explaining how Danganronpa and A Bug's Life are taking place in the same universe.
That's the GIF. Uh, club facts and explaining. That's what they're doing. <laughs> but also, yeah, like, you can't disprove that. Like, there, there's, like, canonically, there is nothing that says a Danganronpa and a Bug's Life cannot take place in the same universe. There is no contradiction there. Just like I, the Samium Files, can take place in the same universe as Battlestar Galactica. Strictly speaking, that is something that cannot be disproven. Fun fact, this is the this is the minigame where speedrunners just like get up and go to the bathroom or something. Because the CPUs will usually just take forever. It takes place in the Psychonauts universe. Abyss is the Japanese branch of the Psychonauts. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like you can't necessarily disprove that. <laughs> like, what if, what, what if you're playing... What if we're playing I, the Somnium Files, and then just, like, fucking three-foot-tall Raz comes on over? It's like, hey, I heard, I heard y'all in Japan could use a Psychonaut. And Date's just like, the, the fuck is this? They send us a ten-year-old? Do they think this is a joke? And Iba's like... Date... He's really good. He scored a... 97 out of 100 on his Psychonauts entrance exam. Right? <laughs> or they... Or they have to go into Rasputin's mind. Date... Date and Iba in Rasputin's mind. What would Date see if Raz used clairvoyance? Oh, you mean like what would uh Do you mean what Raz would like what how Date views Raz? Hmm. He'd see him like the the snot nosed kid from the Wind Waker. I don't know. <laughs> it would be really funny, though. You have no idea what's happening? Right, yeah, at some point you have to watch- you have to see, uh, I, the Samium Files. It's, uh... It's, uh, made by the same people that did Danganronpa and the Nonary games. It's pretty solid. Sees them as bones, yes. <laughs> Add that to the growing list of things you need to watch. Yes. Ah, lose a coin, Luigi. Alright, Waluigi is doing pretty good. Waluigi in second place, one star, currently has the coin star. Oh, he fell. Rhea doesn't play video. No one, no one in this community here plays video games, okay? Video games are banned. No video gaming, no jokes.
Look at that mouse on screen. Mouse on screen. Mouse on screen. Oh! You like that? You like that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh I'm, rub I'm rubbing the, I rub <laughs> rubbing the snowman. <laughs> oh, that shouldn't be as amusing as it actually is. But yeah, kind of same, honestly, like, until I started streaming on Twitch again, I kind of just didn't really play video games anymore. Like, I would watch people on Twitch, but like, I wouldn't really buy games, I didn't really play anything that was in my backlog. It's kind of like, wow, DK got double teamed there. Double balled in the face. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, it's kind of funny. It, in, in a way, Twitch kind of revitalized my interest in video games. But I mean, also, to be fair, Twitch is kind of unique in a way where it's like, you get to play video games and also hang out with people, and like, everyone's watching you. So like, it definitely helps to motivate you playing games. Like, one of the main reasons why I started streaming on Twitch was... Because I had a backlog of games on my Steam I wanted to play, and I just never got around to. And my philosophy basically was that if I was going to stream something on Twitch, there would be people that would be watching me, and they would want to see me continue the game. So it would make me feel obligated to come back and play it again, like, in the near future. Whereas if I was just playing by myself, I might play a game for a day or two and just like stop giving a shit. But now it's like I can't do that. You gotta entertain the people. The My Sims Kingdom game. Animal Crossing is good. Crystals, shut the fuck up. You absolute manlet. <laughs> and I know, I know I'm not the only person that does that as well. Because uh, I guess like over the years I've talked to people that are kind of the same thing like. Yeah, I started streaming on Twitch because I was bad at finishing video games, and now I need to. Yeah, exactly, River, exactly. It's like being peer pressured into playing it. Like, Final Fantasy VII, I actually finally played and beat that game because of streaming. Also, knowing that people want me to play a game so they can watch me play is a huge motivating factor as well. Like, people have mentioned that they would like to see me play through another Final Fantasy game. So, I, it makes me want to, like, actually do that. Lindsay from My Sims. I'd always been kind of curious if people care to watch me play, like, The Sims or, like... A tycoon game or something like that. Victor? Oh yeah, Victor from Sonic Hero Heroes. Big old crocodile man. Love that guy. Good taste here. Good taste in chat. Hey, Chrysalis. Turn on your location. I just want to talk. Just want to have a little little talky walkie. Yeah. Aw, that's kind of cute, Raya. I I'm sure she would have said yes if you asked her. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was little, I really liked. Honestly, I forget what it was called, but it was on Toonami, 
And I think it was about, like... It was, like, this guy... And he lived in, a, in like, a little, like, a, like, I don't know, house in, like, the woods or something. And there was, like, one girl that was, like, a space pirate or something. And then there was, like, this redhead girl that was, like... A super smart scientist and I think she was like on I, I think she was like frozen at the start of the series but then she got unfrozen after like three episodes no 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 it wasn't Cowboy Bebop because practically every episode took place like on earth no like the space pirate like the girl being a space pirate happens in Cowboy Bebop no, this thing is like uh, the girl was like an out, like uh, an outlaw or something. And then, um, like after she like gets like she like breaks out of jail or something, she like starts living on Earth. But yeah, it's like the main character is like a dude, and he's like kind of average or something. Then there was like this frozen redhead girl that like, and she has like a big ass like lavatory in like the house or something. <laughs> And, like, I don't remember much else, honestly. But, like, I could never figure out the name of it. Outlaw Star? Space Dandy? I don't know, let me look it up. Outlaw Star. Uh, I don't think of this. Tsunami show redhead girl. No, it's not. Okay, it's giving me Outlaw Star, but this is not the character I'm thinking of. Yeah, but it's not Cowboy Bebop. I've, I've watched Cowboy Bebop. Space Pirate, maybe? Tenchi Muyo? Oh, this is it, I think. Tenchi Muyo. A normal 70 year old boy until he accidentally releases the space pirate Ryoko from a cave she was in sealed in 70 years ago, as people thought she was a demon. In a series of events, four other alien girls show up at the Masaki household as Sanctuary learns much of his heritage he never knew about and deal with five alien girls who each have some sort of romantic interest in them. Yeah, this might be it. Yeah, yeah, here it is. This is the girl I'm thinking of. Washu Hakubi. It was a harem show. I mean, I guess I didn't know about it. Yeah, no, this is it, if anyone's curious. I wonder if it's actually any good. <laughs> Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. Washu's more recent pursuits involve investigating the three gems, the ones Ryoku was given, and creating life forms capable of harnessing their power. <laughs> okay, this is like... It's like Steven Universe. There's gems in it. I have to watch it now. Yeah, see, she was trapped by Kagato and later released by uh, Miyoshi. Yeah, so that might be it. Like, maybe she wasn't frozen, but she was, like, imprisoned or something. Also, there's, like, a cute cat-like creature called Ryo Oki. 
Yeah, and Ryoko Hakubi, that is, uh, she's like the space pirate one I'm thinking of. The Toonami version was edited to remove blood, profanity, and nudity. I mean, uh, honestly, I kind of, I mean, if it's only like 20 episodes, I kind of want to, uh, watch this. Yeah, five OVA series containing 30 episodes. I mean, that is very, that is very much doable. I'm going to like watch it and like live tweet it. <laughs> you got you got Raymond, awesome, Raya. Also, hey, Duel. Hope you're doing well. Not Wind Waker rigged. Anywhere in the game. Battle like mini game. <laughs> Is go. Yo, look! Waluigi's in first place. If Waluigi wins this, I think he'll begin the coin star too. Which is, uh, pretty cool. I'm glad that we all we were all able to take the, uh, the journey to figure out what this tunan tsunami anime that I recognized was. And so now maybe one day I'll actually watch it. But first, I I do have to get caught up on My Hero Academia because I've not watched a single episode of the newest season. Haven, Haven. I Haven. Ooh, okay. Waluigi is at least in second. You haven't heard that? Yeah, didn't I mean? Didn't Toonami stop in like 2004 or something? You know what I remember? I remember they had the the, the like astronaut guy or whatever, like uh, the the space the spaceman. And, like, I remember there was always, like, a story going along with it, like, between episodes. And then I remember at one point, the, like, his, like, ship gets attacked by an alien or something. And, like, I forget if he got attacked or something, but they, like, he, like, upgraded his suit with, like, better armor and weapons and shit and got a new design. That was pretty hype. When you were little, uh, or I used to watch it all the time when they were like four years younger. Tom? Is it, was his name Tom? Was that really his name? Just Tom? Not even like some like badass space name, just Tom? Tom Toonami? I'll have you know, my dad is Tom Toonami. Yeah, Sonic X was not Toonami. Raya, uh, your thembo is showing. I'm the best. Mario's the best. Okay, that's fine, because Waluigi is still going to get that coin star. It's okay, Raya. That's why we love you. All right, gamers, let's take a break and watch watch a Varlden clip. 
Mr. Cox Beckett. I've got the address. We can go round after a nice cup of tea. Don't get too comfortable, Watson. We're leaving immediately. <laughs> Watson's like, I just did some good work. I want a nice cup of tea. Sherlock Holmes. No. It's true. He got cucked out of that tea. The Confuctor? Rhea, please. This is this is this is a family friendly stream. Don't say words like confuctor in here. I don't know, I never saw Polar Express. Is that the, the same voice actor? Damn, N64 be lagging again. I literally have not seen Polar Express once, but I know so many people that used to watch it all the time. I'm the <laughs> That's right, because you can say pussy here all the time. What are you saying, Raya? Hot, hot? I think Raya broke. What do we do? Raya broke. That stupid ass bitch has known you for 13 years and won't give you mod. Are you talking about Fi Fi? Fi Fi won't give you mod. So that is that is pretty rude of that bitch. You're not broken. That's right, Ray. You're not broken. You're beautiful the way you are. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. In fact, here's an inspirational Bob Ross video. Yeah. Let's take a little bit of thin oil. Little permanent rib. Sign this one. And call it finished. I really hope you've enjoyed this one and it's sparked your imagination. And got your always, mind. always expect me to be wholesome when you don't expect it. And then you'll never be surprised again. Right, Bob? <laughs> that was kind of good timing. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, I feel like modding some like large, like large, large channels would kind of get to be a pain at some point. That's not Bob Ross. What the? F I mean, who's painting? That's kid. Next letter comes from. Uh oh, <laughs> Martha, you ought to be ashamed for sending that. We're gonna put that aside. <laughs> what? Uh, that was a little too personal. Uh, what? How uh, did you make evergreens? You'll see you wanted to make some trees here is with a pan brush. Can they be made with other brushes? Why well, sure. We can use the one inch brush. Like, did, fact, did, did Martha send in a letter saying that she wanted to fuck Bob? Imagine if someone sent a fan letter is just like a picture of them like pegging Bob in the ass. Would that be fucked up or what? Did you not hear the clip? Martha, Bob Ross was like, Martha, that's a little bit too personal. You should be ashamed for sending that in. Then he didn't read it. But yeah, like, I mod for some, like, kind of... I don't know, like, I mod for, like, a couple people that have partners, and it's not too bad. But yeah, I'm thinking about channels where it's, like, I don't know. They average like a thousand viewers or something. I feel like that would just get like chaotic because you'd have so much just like random like spam and trollings and all that to take care of. But if it's someone that just averages maybe like, you know, 300 at the most or something, I don't think it's really that bad. Like, I think the biggest channel that I mod for is Chrism, but like, his, his chat is. 
surprisingly, for being such a big channel, Chrism's chat is, like, really well behaved, most of the time, anyway. When I was, like, a lot more active being a moderator over in his channel, I, like, would... Or, I mean, just watching. I, like, really wouldn't have to do much in terms of, like, banning people or talking to people. I'm pretty sure it's, like, about, about the same still. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're, like, such a, like an important member of the community, but you don't have any privileges or recognition. You're just being abused for your, for your funny labor, Crystallis. Yeah, I've seen that a couple of times, too, River. I mean, a couple of times in... You know, funny enough, it's really been only two channels that I mod for that are also, like, on the smaller side, where there's been problems, I guess. Honestly, the biggest problem that I've found being a moderator for some streamers is people that really just, like, walk that line between not necessarily breaking the rules, but just, but, like, just being right there, like, right against it. And then, like, it ends up, like, becoming the thing of discussion in, like, the mod discord, or, like, the mod channels. Like, what do we do about this person? Because they're not, like, breaking any rules, but they're just, like... For one reason or another, they just kind of, like, cause issues. Like, uh, to give you an example, in one channel that I mod in, we had a problem because there was one person who basically would be contrarian all the time. Just, just constantly. And so, it got to the point where people were starting to send in complaints because it wasn't even just, like, about serious topics. Like, you come in and be like, I really like pepperoni on pizza. And then this person would come along and be like, well, you know, pepperoni on pizza isn't really that good of a topping. It would be much better if you had chicken and added something else, like onions, to it. Or just someone would say, like, they like sports, like, they like basketball. And, someone, and then this person would come in and start talking about why baseball is a superior sport. So it's like, literally, no matter what, this person would always interject. And it just made people not want to talk anymore. And so, like, after getting a couple of, uh, like, complaints, one of us, uh, reached out to the person. But then they still didn't want to change, so they ended up getting banned. Also, hi. Lomardi, can I get a shout-out for Lomardi? Chris I know I know you want to shout-out the lovely Marty. How was, uh, you're doing more Skyrim today, right? How is that going? No, I fucked it. Oh. I've been given a second chance. Yeah, yeah, gods. exactly, Duel. No! I've been given a third chance by the gods. Oblivion, right, sorry, Oblivion, Oblivion. Fuck. Yeah, like, the thing about being a moderator for, like, whether it's a Discord or, um, you know, a channel or something, the big thing is always going to be, it, it's obvious, like, it, some things are easy, like, obviously, if someone comes into a channel, they start saying, like, racial slurs or homophobic slurs, something along those lines, you know, obviously, you ban them, there's, there's no question about that, that's easy. Or other rules are common on Twitch, like, don't self-promote is something you see in a lot of channels, or, you know, like, don't talk about politics, that's the thing that some channels have. The thing that becomes difficult is always going to be those cases where someone isn't necessarily breaking any rules, but for one reason or another, having them in a community, they just, like, make other people uncomfortable or make them not want to chat as often. Stuff like that. Like the person I mentioned, the person is just like, no matter what, is always being contrarian. Like, it may not necessarily break the rules, but... It's just kind of like bringing down the atmosphere. Or, um... 
you know, the whole thing about, like, trauma dumping on streamers that people talk about sometimes. Like, if someone, every single time they come into the chat, they're just, like, venting about their day. Like, you know, that, that may not necessarily break a rule if they don't have that as a rule, but... It just, like, kind of wears down on people and they don't want to hear it anymore. And it might make them be like, oh, cool, this person is just talking about how they had a horrible day and they hate themselves. And now they don't feel like talking in the stream, and it just kind of brings down the atmosphere. So it's always been like those cases that have been like uh, the like you know talk of discussion as a moderator. Saito takes pleasure in calls and playing. Well, yeah, well, I mean, like... Like, there's a difference, because, like, I I'm in plenty of discords where there's some sort of, like, venting channel, or, like, serious, like, serious topic zone, venting... Uh... You know, things like that. And that's, that's perfectly fine. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like, in the middle of a stream, that's not really, like, the place to do it, you know? At least I would say that's not the place to do it unless the streamer themselves is like already like kind of on that topic, you know? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, right? I know what you're talking about. It was like... Um, because it was the peer, uh, the peer-to-peer -peer thing where, uh, you could go to it and see, uh, streamers based on the identities they put on. So you could search up people that had, like, a, a bisexual tag, or people that had a queer tag, or people that had, um, you know, Asian, or black, or Muslim, etc. And the person was arguing that, like, that shouldn't matter, and that's not, like, a reason to, like, categorize people and stuff like that. And so, like, everyone was saying, like, that's, like, not the point. Like, the point of it is so that you could find people of your identity to, like, Go and check out their streams and stuff like that. And it was like, you know, I'm just trying to like play some Steven Universe here, and this person's like arguing against that thing. Yeah, that like yeah yeah that like someone randomly coming in being like, I hate my family, like cool. Oh yeah, I am. I mean, it's not like something... I mean, I never go to the website anymore. Like, peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. Like, to be honest, I got kind of annoyed because... I, I like, found a couple of people, and I started watching them and, like, following them, and I'd be like, Hey, I found you from peer-to-peer. -peer. You seem kind of cool. I'm gonna drop you a follow. And then, like, I would watch them for, like, two weeks or something. And, like, they would never follow me back. I mean, I, I don't feel like that site is, like, necessarily follow for follow, but it just kind of annoyed me that it seemed like I was going out and, like, trying to find new people, and, like, nobody ever came to my stream and was like, Oh, hey, I found you from peer to peer. It reminds me of, yeah, what is that? Oh yeah, no, Lamarty, we're just talking about in general. Like, I was talking about, like, moderating and how, like, moderating on Twitch Yuji has never been too difficult, like... Unless it's, 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 like, random cases where someone's not necessarily breaking any rules, but... They just kind of, like, bring down, like, the atmosphere of, like, a stream or, like, a Discord community. So we just, sort of, like, started talking about that. No, no, I'm on it. Like, my stream appears on it, just, like, I personally do not go to the website and look up streamers anymore. Like, I, I kind of stopped giving a shit. And now it's because, like, I was just never seeing anyone come to my channel from it. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to bother then. I'd rather just, like, keep...
fostering my friendships and all that with other streamers. Like I'm already following. <laughs> yeah, that too. Pe people that feel like if they... If they like sub or donate or give bits, that that like entitles them to be treated differently. As in they can like just be assholes or something and you're just supposed to take it. Cristalis, uh, go, go slap your nuts. Oh, Chad, drink some water. Wait, did Waluigi win? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Waluigi won. Let's go. B, E, A, beautiful. This is like, it's like the chatting emo, but clapping. It's like, it's like slap, 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 slap. Slap, 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 slappy, slappy. All right, gamers, uh, I'm gonna go take a break before we do the next board, though. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. It'll also be a good time for you to like go take a stretch or a walk or get something to drink or eat, etc. See you all in a couple minutes. They just keep coming and coming, and we don't even know what they are! We don't know anything!
explanations, maybe not as much. Dang and Rampa, hold! I came back something. at just the right time. The blood is the most noteworthy part, but the big breasted swimsuit model is pretty. Oh yeah! Too. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Big big breasts, big breasts! Big breasts! Spoiler breasts. alert! Dang and Rampa, big breasts. <laughs> Hi everyone. It's all crumpled too. I didn't see what have we here? A beep. Thank you very much for the raid beep. Appreciate that very much. Bowser's coming to eat my butthole. I'm excited about that. I know, it's like y'all went from like one stream where Bowser was in your butthole to another stream where Bowser is going to be in your butthole. Generally speaking, but I have to get going. I have something unrelated. This is this is a very long clip, and the premise is boobs. So that's pretty good. No, no, no. Crystallis, Crystallis does uh, not want to fuck Bowser. He wants to be fucked by Bowser. What is that from GeoGuessr? Um, but yeah, hi everyone from Beep's stream. Hope you enjoyed watching them do some speed runs. We're gonna throw in, uh, so this is gonna be Waluigi, Daisy, Peach, and AOL are, uh, in this particular map. It literally took you an hour. To be, a uh, Bowser is kind of a pain in the ass. So that's definitely valid. Hey, RightQ, uh, Mistrich, AOL. You know what, we're gonna have to do what Waluigi won last time. We're gonna have to do Waluigi's Island, I think. Dab? I'll dab for you. But yeah, hi everyone, this is uh, Mario Party's CPU matches today. So, um, I'm not actually playing. We have the CPUs fight against each other. And basically, I commentate on the match. And talk to the chat, and depending, uh, basically depending on the chat activity determines how much I'm just ranting to myself and saying and random Pearl. shit, and how much I'm actually talking to all of you. You can also redeem 35k channel points to make me play a Mario Party match. And thank you for the follow, appreciate that. I see we also have a number of people I can uh, shout out too. Right Q, Mistrich, fellow lover of Gengar. Yeah, he just throws a we're about to get a, we're about to get a bunch of clips here. Vending machine? Oh hey, it's you. Skelly with the oh, double hey. S's. Moss Def Kitty, love love Moss Def Kitty. Like he runs River City. Someone please clip my you stream. That hideous golden statue. <laughs> what just happened? Well, I I, I love my clip player. This by the way, we get all kinds of amazing things. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I'm like, hey, all of you people from Beep's stream, go follow each other. Nancy's pants. Yeah. Then we have them. Uh. We make them all hard. We make them hard. Yeah. And then they're I off. Love this it's so fucking funny. Uh, I usually uh, like to pick a particular person who I am rooting for. I also is. encourage everyone else to do the same. Makes That's it kind of fun. Does. She does this. I'll uh, I'll be rooting for Waluigi. But I'm a bit of a Waluigi you know. simp here. The phone, yeah, the lops. Uh, this is a crawfish. What is that? That's a crawfish. Why is there a crawfish? Oh yeah, isn't that a Yakuza? Pizza. Like a dragon, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh? Oh, a phone? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, um, AOL, this entire week, she's cosplaying as Wario, uh, during streams. So if you're, uh, if you're not already following AOL, go get on that. She, she is also oh, Wario no. in Discord. This is very edgy. <laughs> You're not looking at anything? You can't see anything? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey Moa, hey world's cutest gamer, world's cutest gamer as well. Yep, everyone, everyone um, so spray. Games UX stuff that I think is like everyone spray uh, AOL. I'm not actually going to spray my camera. Like I can start like past it. Like, like there we go. The that's I'm me. So that's mad. me spraying AOL. 
Horny jail. <laughs> now my room's gonna smell like Twilight Woods. See, I got some nice Twilight Woods here. It smells damn good, I love it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you know, uh, Dante is a great person to be horny for. Can't blame anyone. Can't blame anyone. Yeah, Bath and Body Works, yeah. My room smells like Bella and Edward having sex. Um, yes. Yeah, Bath and Body Works is pretty good. I've had this for a while, too. Like... I've had it since I lived with my exes. It's lasted me quite a while. I feel like I remember reading that it is like... That particular one is maybe like... I feel like I read about it going out of stock or like being discontinued or something. I hope that's not the case because I really like it. I'll be, I'll be sad if that is the case. Oh yeah, if uh, anyone out there, if you're uh, Pokemon fans, by the way, tomorrow for my uh, evening stream, I'll be continuing my Pokemon Emerald playthrough. We just got to the th uh, third gym. And it's been a pretty good time. I have a uh, Shroomish who is named Jasper, like Steven Universe. Oh, big Steven Universe fan, by the way. Pearl is the best gem, if you don't agree, we'll, we're gonna have a fist fight. To the death, by the way. Pearl's great. My waifu, do exclamation point of uh, Varlden, got a command for it too. F and chat for Juniper Breeze. I don't know Juniper Breeze, but I, I will I will I will feel that F. We'll play two and twenty thirty when I need another one. I guess I'll have to move on to something else. Meet me in the Denny's parking lot. Will that be in uh, 20 minutes, Raya? In, in 20 minutes, will I meet you at the Denny's parking lot? Hey, Raya, how's it? Oh, never mind. I was about to say, how's it feel, Daisy, being zero stars and zero coins? But uh, Waluigi is also zero stars and zero coins, so don't really have any room to talk at the moment. Bowser's coin potluck sounds naughty. Well. <laughs> Naughty boys get Bowser's potluck. Wink, wink. Stop! I mean, for all, my, for all my talk, I feel like... I mean, I, I want to say I wouldn't do too good in a fight, but... I feel like that's more just because I'm lazy. I am a yellow belt in Kempo, though. I took Kempo when I was, like, in, in sophomore year of high school. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember, like, this one move where it's, like, someone grabs your shoulder and you, like, you, like, step to the side and, like, go like this and you, like, hit them in their crotch. And then, like, you're, you're assuming they're gonna reel over, so you go back with, like, a back knuckle, then, like, you spin around and you can, like, get at their neck. Assuming that everything goes well. You have no fighting skills, you can only scratch and bite. Like a little gremlin. Splash? Yeah, you can splash like a Magikarp. Or a Whalmer. We've uh, we've gotten Whalmer to uh, splash around quite a bit. You cannot swim. We'll get you some water wings, that way you can splash around. Yeah, 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 but, but all, you need, all you need are, uh, are water wings and everything will be fine. 19, huh? I wonder, uh, that might actually give Peach enough to get over to the side of the, uh, the... Is she gonna get it? Oh, she's close. Yep. Alright, looks like, looks like Peach is gonna be buying the first star of this board. What are water wings? Um, you know, like, the little, you've never seen them, like, the little floaty things that you wear on your forearms? Like, they get to, like, toddlers and little babies? We'll get a pair for you, that way you can swim. Yeah, but even if they don't swim, like, you might have still seen them in movies or something. 
Oh, I mean, it's like it's like flotation devices on your arms, so you'll be able to swim. Yeah, okay, yeah, poorly designed flotation devices that go on your arms. Wait, even with water wing? Hmm. Okay, I'll just, like, carry you on my shoulders. And there you go. Upper arms, not forearms. Okay, duel over here with that biology degree just come to correct me, apparently. Crystallis, why are you being mean? Oh yeah, um, so unfortunately, uh, my Nintendo 64 can lag at times when I'm playing my legitimate copy of Mario Party. So that may be why you may, uh, notice the game a little bit, uh, sprite -y right here. I also, I hate this, this, uh, layout, by the way, so much. You know what, fuck it, let's just go over there to, uh, yeah. Let's just go over here. This is like, this is honestly superior to that one. This, this feels better. No, it's perfect. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful just like Pearl. Why are you all complaining? Oh my god, you see what I have to deal with, you see what I have to deal with. This is what my stream is like, by the way. I'm just like, constantly being bullied by my chat. All I'm trying to do is have a good time, hang out with people, drink some H2O, and I can't even do that. Oh yeah, if anyone's into uh, crossword puzzles... Oh right, oh. Oh, it literally is too big. I thought you were all just fucking with me. I thought you were fucking with me by saying it was too big. Look, there we go. Okay, you should have okay, you should have said that it was too big and not just been like, oh too big, too big, too big. I thought you were joking because it was literally bigger than the original. Oh my god. No, you were all just like, too big, too big, too big, it's horrible, I'm leaving. It wasn't until Rhea said so you can't see the bottom two that I was like, oh, you're actually being serious. I'm telling you, mods and VIPs these days. Yeah. Ad break, but also no ad break. Ah, yeah. oh, pre rolls uh, should be off. Oh, yeah, speaking of. Actually, not speaking of, this is like completely irrelevant. If anyone does crossword puzzles, I did my very first crossword puzzle today, created it. Here's a, uh, a link to it. If you do end up doing it, uh, please let me know. I'd be curious what you think about it, if you enjoyed it. If you uh, have any uh, critiques or anything of the sort. I would love to hear them. Is that Pope? That that is Pope. <laughs> uh no, because uh that one there is a partner emo, uh, a partner animated emo. That's why you can see it. Uh before Crystal was posting 7 TV emotes, that's why you did not see them. Hey Doc, good to see you. I hope that you're having a wonderful evening. I forget, were you here earlier? Or was, uh, am I thinking about the crossword stream? I know, I'm sorry, Rhea. I'm sorry, I had to kill your fun. I didn't mean to, though. I didn't mean to. I do never intentionally mean to kill anyone's fun. Even though I might do it from time to time. 
you were here earlier. That's good. Huh, you know, this makes me kind of realize there's like a lot of people that like Pokemon that also watch me. Gengar, by the way. Oh, look at this, look. Look at that. Tail Whip. How many streams can you get some Gengar booty in your face? Probably not a lot. That's like my unique claim to fame. Like, if I had to, if I had to, like, give an email to Twitch with a reason why I should be a partner, I would just, like, send them a picture of my Gengar's ass. And then someone over, over at a Twitch HQ is going to have to spend part of their workday looking at a picture of a stuffed Gengar booty hole. Gengar doesn't have an ass. <laughs> well, let me tell you, if you if you look up Gengar Rule 34, <laughs> you, you will probably find some Gengar with some ass. I'm just saying, like, don't don't get mad at me. I'm just saying, like, that's that's the truth. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that like I'm not saying that you have to go look at it. I'm just saying it does exist. It definitely exists out there. You got bored, so you look it up. Look, 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 Crystallis. If people if people do stuff during the pandemic, you know, let let them cope with with how they have to do it. You know. If coping with the pandemic means you look up thick Gengar booty, then, you know, more power to you. Enjoy your life. Someday we're all going to perish and return to Stardust, so... Just enjoy the time you got left on the Earth, right? I mean, hell, there's probably like, I don't know, Piranha Plant Vor art out there somewhere. While we're just, like, talking about all the random stuff that probably exists out there. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Crystallis, wait, did, Crystallis, did you remove your, uh... <laughs> did Crystallis unmod yourself? That is fucking hilarious. What did he say, though? I missed it. I think I missed it. Crystallis. Okay, there we go. I'm going to ban Crystallis again. Going to crank it to Gardevoir Vor then. I mean, the Pokemon has Vor in its name. I, I feel like I feel like the people down in Poker Freak know what they were talking about. I mean, okay, the, the studio that makes Pokemon is literally Game Freak. Like, come on, folks. I thought they're being a little bit obvious there with their name. Yeah, Crystallis, you got like you got like two minutes to uh, go ahead and make your uh, unban request. Actually, wait, if I unban you, isn't it just gonna go away anyway? That kind of ruins the point, doesn't it? Anyway, hope everyone's having a good Tuesday. I can screenshot it? Yeah, but I'm lazy. Plus, I have to, like, switch over to, like, mod mode or something. How do I do that? The chat settings? Where is it? Switch to non-mod settings? I've like literally never used uh used like the, the mod mode.
Oh no, I'm just gonna type an E and see if that does anything. You start your new job? Hopefully that new job is going pretty well. Yeah, I am. I uh, I banned Chris Solace so he could write out an actual like on ban request. It didn't let you. Oh, yeah, I can have to wait for it. Uh, maybe we can wait someday for uh, maybe like on an off day or something. I'll ban you, and then you can make your on ban requests. <laughs> Alright, what's this? You got a duel. Huh, that's weird. I wonder why it's giving you an ad break. I know recently, I think Twitch... I think Twitch rolled out a thing where you can, like, uh, like, schedule your ads or something like that. Uh, I got an email about it. I, like, didn't bother reading it I didn't really care. Where are the Jotaro hats? Is it, is it Jotaro time? Okay, I actually have a little bit of a story here about this hat. So, I went to a 7-Eleven the other day, and the cashier was wearing some sort of anime hat. Like, I don't know what anime it was, but it, it was obviously, like, some sort of anime guy. And so, um... It made me wonder if I could, like, go into my job and just, like... To just, like, just, like, wear my Jotaro hat for the shift. Just for the hell of it. I wonder, like, how many comments I would get on it, too. Like, would any weebs come up to my job and be like, Whoa, that's a Jotaro hat, that's so cool. And I'll be like, Yeah, how much gas do you want? Just be like, completely uninterested in it. Ooh, a Toad minigame. Dory Dip? Nope. Hey, Batter Batter. Alright, so items are up for grabs. Oh, there's a Boo Bell. What was the other one to write? Oh, Scotland Key? Yeah, no, I'd probably go for the Boo Bell myself. Will Wario do it, though? Will he go for the Boo Bell? Oh, rigged. I knew that was going to happen. The booba bell, yes, the boo bell. You get that item, you just you just start uh, ringing it, and and the booba comes. That's how it works. Oh, but Peach is just gonna go ahead and swipe it. Wow, Wario just got fucked, and definitely not in the good way. Andrew, your own starship with a sad Snorlax? That sounds pretty cool. I, you know, it's kind of funny. At the start of the year, I meant... I, I sort of made a New Year's resolution to, like, get into art. And, like, actually start teaching myself how to, like... You know, do anatomy and, like, portion things properly. And just, like, sketch and doodle more. And then, like... I did it for maybe like two weeks, then I stopped. And now apparently I'm making crossword puzzles. Just like completely found a different interest to get into. The one who throws the ball too far back. <laughs> you know, a uh, fun fact, when I used to play uh, like actual bowling as a kid, I would always play with the lanes up because I... I, I kind of suck too much to play without them. 
like if, if I did if I didn't play with uh, with the, the lanes up, I would just always get a gutter ball. I guess I just never really had like the strength. I guess the bumpers, yeah, the bumpers. And you suck, Rosales. Suck a dick. Same with like throwing balls, like like footballs and stuff. I could never throw them very far. Like I don't know if it was just like the technique or. If I just like don't have the strength for it, but I don't know, probably like 60 feet would maybe be like my max. I could like never throw a ball like down a football field or something like that. You played in a league, yeah? Okay, okay, Chrysalis. Got we got a League of Legends player over here. The bowling alley atmosphere. You know what I remember from going to bowling alleys? I don't know what it was, but they always had the best french fries. That's why I was always excited to go bowling. Because I was so excited to get the french fries. I think maybe it's because they just like, salt the living hell out of the french fries at bowling alleys. But yeah, like, every bowling alley I went to as a kid always had, like, the most delicious french fries. I'd usually, like, try to get my grandparents to get, like, like, two large ones. Yeah, that too, and I always like whenever it's, like, uh, like, nighttime or something, and they, like, turn off the lights, and they got, like, they got, like, the, like, little, like, disco ball electric thing going on. And they got, like, music playing and everything. Honestly, like, at this point, just because, like, I'm older, I feel like I would enjoy going to a bowling alley at night than going to, like, a club. Finish. Cosmic Bowling. Yeah, yeah, the birthday parties. Having your, birth having your birthday party at a bowling alley was always, like, the coolest thing when I was a kid. Like, that's what everyone wanted to be able to do. And just like, you have like pizza, burgers, and all that stuff, you'd be playing bowling. That was the shit. Pulling out is open at 2.30 a.m. Hell yeah. Now I really want to go to a bowling alley. Birthday party in Bowling Alley was really, really fun. Alright, it's been about five minutes. Ooh, Peach gets a hidden star. Waluigi uh, in second place is pretty good. Yeah, Bowling I really want to go to the Bowling Alley now. Oh, Waluigi, come on. Well, you land on the Happening Space, so that's good for the Happening Star. Yeah, the, the first ever Varlden meetup. We're gonna go to a- we're gonna go to a bowling alley. Yeah, water park, then a bowling alley, and then drinking. And then we'll go back to the bowling alley. Actually, World's Kids Gamer does bring up a point. We should be drunk for the entirety of it. Yeah, but if you barf in a pool, then, you know, it's like in water, so it's fine, you know? Uh, just kidding, just kidding. Someone's gotta be a designated driver? Uh, true. You're gonna drink your penis soda. Okay, Raya. Uh, you, you enjoy your penis soda, I guess? <laughs> okay, you wanna know what else I think is really fun? And like, I don't know if it's just like a, if it's just like a me thing, but I think the mini golfing is really fun. I like mini golfing. 
I think it's like miles ahead of like quote unquote actual golfing. We used to have this place in, uh, when I used to live in Florida, it was like, uh, uh, I think it was called like Pirate's Cove or something it was. And what I liked about it was that for, uh, for every course, when you began, there was like a little plaque and it gave like some sort of backstory on it. Cause like one like 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 one course would be on the ship like on like the pirate ship or something, and like it would give a little bit of a backstory on the ship, and then it would be like the captain's tip, and the captain would be like, you should like aim for the wooden block at the end and knock it off of that and make it like go up over the hill, and it'll like go into a like a secret a secret hole that will take the ball through a tunnel and. If you use enough speed, it'll get into the hole, and you'll get a hole in one. It'll be like stuff like that. It's like it sort of told you like what like what the best way to be able to get a hole in one would be. And then it always made me a little bit sad because the very last one actually had a message about how like your time is up, and so uh, we're gonna have to like depart now. But it was fun playing with you and giving you tips and stuff like that. I had a blast doing that. But yeah, that's when I used to live in Florida. So, uh, like, I would go down to Florida during the summers, because I lived in New Jersey at the time, but my grandparents lived in Florida. And so uh, we usually would go there, like, a couple of times whenever I went down there for summer vacation. Yeah, mini golfing is fun. Like... Typically speaking, I find it more fun than regular golf just because of all the random stuff that they put in it. Like, they can have themes. Like, you know, this particular one was pirate themed. Like, some mini golf courses will be, like, spaceship themed or. I don't know, like, food themed. Maybe, like, water themed or something. Animal themed, zoo themed. And there's you know, all random stuff like windmills, uh, like the tunnels and stuff. Just, just like a ton of fun overall. Just a ton of fun. Can we stay in a Kalahari hotel? Absolutely, Crystalis. Okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll dress up like a pirate. <laughs> okay, uh, I will dress up. I'll, I will, I will dress as Junko, dressing as a pirate. How about that? Like I'll basically be a pirate, but I'll have a Junko Inoshima wig on. Oh, slap down! This is Crystal's favorite game. Slap, slap it down. You know he would be. Uh, you go, go as, go as Monokuma. You're short enough. Wait, really? Oh, I'm gonna Google this. I'm gonna Google this. Junko Enoshima Pirate? Junko Enoshima eye patch, maybe? Oh, yeah, I see it now. Uh, not really a pirate thing. She's got like a, uh. A little bit of like a cape thing. Sort of a corset and an eye patch. Close enough. As Genocide Jack? Yeah, do it. Yeah, Coyote is a good choice, too.
everybody got it right. Yeah, exactly. You're in a piano class. You're like also like going down the whole like musician route. You got that in common. P. Piano. Look, listen. I'm I'm uh, I'm pronouncing it the Italian way. Okay, the Italian way. Say piano. Piano. Capisce. Yeah. I'm Italian too, motherfucker. I'm half Italian. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to bully you, Chrysalis. Look, I'm making. I'm doing this. Finish. This is a me calling Chrysalis a stupid a poop head. You're being a bully in an Italian. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, imagine being Italian. Come on, Cristalis. <laughs> like, imagine just imagine just willingly giving people that information that you're Italian. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. Also applies to me. Yeah, but it's different because I'm like I'm like one of the good Italians. Not not like stinky Cristalis over here. It's a stinky cookie chicken. Is it not the very good? Wow, Wario over here just constantly cheating. Second place now. Not a fan of that. Look, everyone hates me just because I'm speaking the truth, okay? Them's the facts. If you eat the spaghetti, you'll have a bigger poop. <laughs> Stop! I feel like you, you can just say like random shit and it'll be funny if you do it in an Italian accent. Daisy continues to suffer, that makes me a sad. My poor pasta is not al dente. When it's not al dente, I am al sede. <laughs> Justice for Daisy. I mean, I don't want Daisy to win in this board, but I don't want to see her get last place. I maybe want to see Peach get last place. I feel like people are so quick to forget that Peach is a monarch and could not have achieved that position without exploiting the proletariat of the Mushroom Kingdom. And you know, it's a little bit fucky wucky. The teensy but the fucky wucky, as the Italians would say. Oh, is this one again? Yep, time time to check your phones. Go on Snapchat or something. This mini game can like literally take like two minutes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Daisy's kingdom is like extremely small. Yeah, honestly, same, uh, cause I, I, I honestly, I don't think I've ever actually played any of the mainstream games that Daisy is from, so... Uh, basically, yeah, same. I'm not too... I don't actually even, I don't even know what the, uh, name of the kingdom is that she's in.
Oh, there goes Wario. Is down to the two princesses. Sarasa Land? That sounds familiar. That, that does sound familiar. Hey, speaking of, uh, speaking of Daisy, Daisy won. Game bot. Game bot. Game bot. Game bot. Where does say game bot? Game bot. More like a game bot. Oh, shy guy minigame. Shy guy minigame. Oh, 112 coins. This is gonna suck ass for Peter if she loses. Oh, and it's the chain chomp. It's like, well, I mean, all of them are complete RNG, but still. I say go for the go for the go for the tiny, go for small. <laughs> wow! Look at that. <laughs> I said I, I did. Did I not say go for the tiny one? Right? I said go for the tiny one. Big guy couldn't finish it. Bonk. I like how when you lose in this one, it just drops a hammer on you. Like, haha, dumb idiot. Another battle minigame. Bum, 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 bum. How many coins are we gonna do? 20 coins and not everyone can contribute. Bum 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 I wonder what like the RNG is for like I don't know, like, four times in a row, it always picks the empty space, and so all four players live. Like, I wonder what the ratio is for actually being, like, a space of a player versus one without a player. Like, if it actually is, like, an even split, or if, like, internally there's, like, a smaller chance of it happening. Damn, it goes Waluigi. Fs. And there goes Peach. Looks like Wario, the winner. Swinging with sharks. Alright, what items do we have here? Ooh, um... I'd maybe go with the chest myself. Ooh, Daisy's going for uh, the Bowser cell phone. We may be, uh, ring 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 calling up Bowser soon. That was like a lot of minute like three people landed on like a mini game thing for that one. You're gonna be left shark for Halloween. Me and my roommates joked about like being like me being Lady Demetresque and the three of them would be like her daughters. But like I don't feel like paying money to make a Halloween costume. 
Especially if I'm like not actually gonna be going to like a party or anything. Dane heckin' COVID. Daisy won. Daisy uh, again cheating. I will say though, the the, the idea of it though is uh, pretty fun. Last five turns. You know what that means? That means we gotta play an ad. Hello everyone who's currently subscribed and not seen an ad. Thank you for subscribing to twitch.tv slash Varlden. I appreciate your support very much. The others can't hear me, but... Don't tell them. But, uh... You're my favorite. Wink wink. I, I can't believe that... <laughs> I honestly can't believe that, like... Am I living in the era where people think old memes are dad boy? That's like the era, like the golden age of memes. You can still hear me. Oh shit, it's not working. Exactly. If anyone's if anyone's mean to you, Raya, you just uh, take a giant chomp out of them with your gigantic shark teeth. Easy squeezy. Ooh, and Daisy does not have enough coins to buy that. David Hasselhoff just told you to get Pluto TV. Is that from SpongeBob? That SpongeBob thing. <laughs> oh, is the ad that you just watched? David Hasselhoff is doing Twitch ads now? Huh. Well, wouldn't have uh, expected that, but I suppose that's the thing. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. Um, he's probably most known as being like the main character of the original Baywatch. I'd say it's probably like his most famous role. He was also in the SpongeBob movie, probably his most second famous role. Yeah, the funny thing is, I I know what uh, I know what David I know who David Hasselhoff is, but I don't know what Pluto TV is. Yay! So Halloween, you have to buy an aviator hat and goggles, or the beanie that has goggles on. So which I get? Um, I would say I would say go for the aviator hat and the goggles. Michael Knight from Night uh, Rider, yeah, yeah, he plays he plays that one too. I mean, that's that's probably more recognizable than the SpongeBob movie. But yeah, honestly, like not knowing Daisy, uh, not knowing David Hasselhoff makes sense. That's definitely like an actor I feel like most of the older people would know. Plus, I, I, I think come like the 2000s, he just like didn't really do much anymore. You know, it's not like uh, Sir Elon McKellen who's like still doing shit. Oh, Chrysos, if you don't want to go with the option that we tell you to do, then just go with your heart. Mm -hmm. 
It's, it's like me asking if we're going to do Electrite or Magnemite as like a quiz, uh, like, like as a little poll. Which uh, I actually believe uh, Electrite looks like it's going to be winning, last I checked. So that'd be fun. Um, again, tomorrow evening... Tomorrow evening we're going to be doing some more uh, Pokemon Emerald. I won't be doing a morning stream tomorrow. I gotta uh, finish up part 5 of JoJo's and my roommates. But in the evening we'll be back and we'll play Pokemon for a bit. Okay, who are you going- who are you going as? Green turtleneck? Are, are, are you going as Steve from Blue's Clues? Like, what's going on here? I'm trying to figure out what your costume is. Oh, Raz! You're going as Raz. <laughs> I mean, Raz, Steve from Blue's Clues, they're basically the same character, right? Yeah, but I probably completely glossed over it and didn't pay attention to what you were saying. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I know, a, a, a Rasputin costume would be pretty cool. I responded to it? Yeah, but I was probably drunk, I don't remember it. I was probably just shitting around the old Twitter and I saw it. Boom, 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 boom. Listen, lesbians are allowed to dislike multi-level marketing schemes, okay? You just have to stop being uh, biased against us. I'm like still not over it. Like I, I, I still the first thing I think of when I see L M L M, I, I think of multi-level marketing schemes. Fellows, is it gay to be a part of a multi-level marketing scheme? When I used to uh, do um, Halloween costumes all the time, I always liked being either a zombie or the Grim Reaper. That was like always my two goes growing up. You always assume homosexual activity. That's valid. I mean, it's not, it's not bad to always assume homosexual activity. You're... <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good, Chrysalis. Oh, Chrysalis, next you have to you have to tweet out that, um... You, you have to do your impression that le lesbians can be attracted to men. And if you think that's false, you're a le you're a you're a you're a blurf and a turf and a stupid pink smurf or something. <laughs> uh oh, everyone, Rhea has an idea. Yeah, bl bl blurf is this term people came up with by lesbian, bisexual lesbian, radical feminist or whatever. Bi lesbian exclusionist. I don't know. I just I just tend to ignore people these days. <laughs> Should I be Raz or a bi lesbian? Obviously, be Raz. Oh, Waluigi just got a little lamp. He's gonna be able to instantly teleport to the star. But a bum ba bum bum. 
You know, if you ask me, it's a little bit of a downgrade from the second Mario Party, where you get you get the big, thick, meaty genie, and then in this one, you just have like they just like make him skinny. Like where where are the genie thighs at? That's what I'm wondering. You love that toad? You mean this one, the little, the little die toad? The little, the little like Rayman toad? It's a pretty good toad, I'll give you that. Oh look, Daisy over here just cheating as always. Can't believe Raya is hacking my Nintendo 64 and cheating. You have to DM me? Oh no, Crystal has to slide into the DMs. It's horrible. I'm gonna have to like delete it immediately. I wish that you could like delete other people's DMs. That way, whenever Crystal sends me something dumb, I can just Thanos snap out of existence. You don't have the program names, let alone hack something. Then explain how did Daisy get a bonus star like that? Something is a foul here. Oh, they're gonna duel what for like one coin or a star? Oh, just one. Oh my, am I? Are we literally about to watch a duel for two coins? Yeah, but that's because it's Peach. I'm. I got my eyes more on Daisy. Reminder: This duel is literally to see who wins two coins. There's like, there's like nothing at stake here. I'm gonna fall asleep. Don't test me. I'm gonna fall asleep. All right, let's see what Crystal has had to DM me. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, exactly, exactly, Crystallis. I think about that too sometimes. Ooh, Wario? Wa Wario, you literally just had. Wario literally just had it. I can't believe that Wario just lost a coin. An entire coin. How? How will he recover? And we have to do a... It better not be a Bowser minigame. Oh, you know, I forget that if you have no coins, Bowser just gives you 50. <laughs> I guess it's good to Wario one then? Yeah, Peach, get the hell out of there. He's like, wow, you're really bad at this game. Let me give you, let me give you some free shit. Oh, I mean like, okay, so like, what, what I mean is like, in the in the end, Wario won. Because him losing means that Bowser took pity on him and gave him 50 coins. So like, the, the end result is, is winning. Wow, Waluigi's still in last place. It's kind of BS. Hey Firefly, hope you're doing well. Alright, what is our last minigame? <laughs> Raya, plus. I told you, this is, this is a goddamn kid-friendly stream. Can have a lot of nasty shit being said. Or implied. Mm 
Oh, I, I literally just realized I forgot to put a bid war in my title. Not that it matters, it's like the last four that I'm going to be doing today. Uh, but yeah, for every uh, Mario Party CPU match, uh, we do like a, little, like a little bid war just for fun. To decide what the next Mario Party will be for the following week. Uh, and so for this time it was between Mario Party 2 and 4. And like if no one cheers bits or anything like that, I just like pick one. See, that's fine, Duel, because that, that, that's more to the point. When it's just redacted, though, it's like, you never know. What could be something, like, nastier could be implied with redacted. Mm -hmm. Alright, where are our bonus stars going to here? To Daisy, Daisy once again cheating. Coin star goes to Peach. All right, Waluigi's not winning, so who cares? Happening goes to Waluigi. Yeah, yeah. Th this this particular board was completely rigged. It's literally Waluigi's board too. He had home field advantage. And Daisy won because uh, she's a she's a cheating McCheekster. Daisy pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo bag. Went from zero to hero because she cheated. 